Just a standard risk disclosure before today's video. I'm not a financial advisor or trading expert. I'm simply a trader who likes sharing a bit of what I know. Trade at your own risk. I hope you enjoy the series. Hey, welcome to my first video in a series I'm calling Back to the Basics, where we'll work on covering all of the basic fundamentals needed to start trading futures. From beginning to end, I want these videos to be straight into the point, focusing on all the areas of knowledge needed to start taking trades and build that confidence within yourselves. With new traders entering the market every day, it can be overwhelming trying to figure out where to start. So let's start from the very beginning on how to set up a chart on NinjaTrader. Now today I'm specifically going to show you how I set up my charts. For those of you who watch my videos, they look somewhat like this. I like trying to keep things very minimalistic. I don't like having too many things on my screen at a time when I'm trading. So I'll kind of show you how I set up my chart here. But you can obviously set it up however you like to. So normally when you open a new chart, you can either do it from that control panel on NinjaTrader or you can just add a new tab down here. Then usually you have to choose the instrument that you want to trade, ES0922, some of the basic preset stuff. Now I'm actually going to slide the data series from the chart I normally trade. So these are the settings that I like to use. Candlestick, bar width, solid blacks for body outline and wicks, red and lime green for the color of the bars. Auto scale and display and data box are checked label, panel, price marker, trade settings. You can just go line by line, see which one each one of them does. But this is how I specifically have it for the charts that I trade every single day. Now up at the top here, we have different types of charts that we can use. I'll have a different video that covers, you know, exactly what it a tick chart is versus time charts but you can choose if you you know if you want to trade on a 10k chart or if you want to see what's happening on a five minute chart you can go ahead and change settings and see what prices have been doing but i focus on trading a 2000 tick chart and all a 2000 tick chart means is that each bar represents 2000 transactions that have taken place if we're looking at a five minute chart each bar would represent five minutes worth of price action so there's the 2000 tick chart we're going to go over to the right side panel here double click it's going to open up this properties menu. The way I have mine set up, range is fixed, horizontal grid lines are fixed. That opens up additional settings here, points, one, and linear down at the bottom. Go ahead and click apply. And now if you haven't adjusted these settings already, we're going to double click on the price action here. It's going to open up this data series, which we just talked about. And now going through exactly what I have on my chart, I switched this to 10 days, trading hours, down to CME, US index futures, ETH, candlestick, I changed the width to four. Just go ahead and change that to your desired setting. I like just standard black. Got red, lime green, continuing down auto scales checked, display and data box is checked, and everything else looks to be the same here. Click apply. And now the next big thing we're gonna do is right click, go to indicators. And this is where we're gonna start configuring and start putting our indicators in. Now you guys can obviously use whatever you like to do and what you're comfortable with. There are people that have bought indicators. I do have a few that I have paid for. I'm not affiliated with any other of these channels, so I'm, I can't endorse anything, but I am just showing you that this is what I use. So from Max Price Action Trading System website, if you're a member, you got part one and part two. Scrolling down, you got Pat's Toolbar, another one paid for. Economic News also comes with that bundle. Scrolling back down, looking for Thomas Wade's second entry indicator. Now, again, there are many other indicators that you can find. It doesn't have to be Thomas Wade. It doesn't have to be Max with Price Action Trading System. And then we're gonna get a, a few of the ones that do come with the software. We got a uh, standard EMA, and we're gonna need two of those. So just go click that once and twice here. And the final thing I want to add is the MACD indicator. Now, when we click apply, let's go ahead and see what that does to the chart. Okay, so that really changes things. It kind of messes things up a little bit, but that's okay. We're going to go through some of the settings here. So again, you're going to go step by step, set the time of when the market's supposed to open, the color that you want, opacity you want it in. For panel, I put panel one. Scale justification to the right. Now there's a way to plot today's open, yesterday's close one and two. I personally don't find them helpful, so I just change the color to transparent, and then it hides it from me, so I don't see it. So I'll go ahead and click apply that. Going down to Mac part two, countdown ticks, price line, have that checked with the color and thickness. ATR period is 21. I adjusted these values targeting ticks to six and two. I don't use this too much. It's not that incredibly helpful. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show it right now, but it basically gives you an idea of how far away six ticks would be. And you can obviously change that to whatever you want it to. 
I like calculating on each tick, auto scale zero, and then panel, I put this to one. And line for the 21 EMA, I have it as a blue. Click apply. Over to Pat's toolbar next, there are a list of different drawing tools that you can use. These are the ones that I have, but you can go down and see many others. It gives you a, a like risk reward, for example, I have that one checked. And what that does is it gives you a little bit of a toolbar to use. So you can just go up there, click, oh, I wanna make a text of something, and then you'll be able to jot notes that you need on the chart. So I'll just go ahead and apply that and that'll change some things up here. Now, economic news, very customizable. You don't have to include all the news in the day. I just like having to show high impact news, holiday news. I go ahead and have these checked. You can adjust the colors as you like. Everything else is very standard. I haven't changed anything. It should all still be part of that preset. Second entry indicator here, this is a version two. It's a more updated version. This one you get by being a part of Thomas Wade's Trading Academy. I put show failures, green, red, input series is the ES. Calculate, it says on bar close, I wouldn't be opposed to changing it on each tick. Got the label, maximum bars, look back, infinite. Panel, go ahead and change that to one. Scale justification on the right side, and apply. All right, now let's talk EMA. Now we already have an EMA, a 21 EMA built in with max indicator. So this one I changed to 200 EMA. Input series is ES. On bar close, label EMA 256, auto scale is checked, displacement is zero, display in data box, panel is going to be one, price mar marker, scale justification is going to be on the right, visible, and then the color I change to magenta. Now again, you can make it whatever you want, but that's what I like to have. And now the second EMA indicator here, rather than having a 21 or a 200, I also utilize a 9 EMA. So same as before, calculate on each tick. I don't know if the other one had it on bar close. You can have this on each tick too, it's, it's up to you. But I have nine on each tick, EMA 256, auto scale, displacement zero, checked, panel is number one, scale justification to the right, visible, yes. And we got cyan down at the bottom, apply that. And then last but not least here, MACD indicator. Everything should be standard here. I didn't mess with any of these parameters. Displacement zero, Display and data box, panel, I have as number two. And I think that all that's referring to is which panel you're looking at, whether it's this top one or whether it's this bottom one. Visible, yes, and then zero line I have is dark gray. So go ahead and click OK. And so another thing that we're going to change on this chart here, find an empty space. You're going to go ahead and right click, go down to properties. And now this is where we're going to make additional changes. So right side margin, that gives you a little bit of space to the right. I change that to 100. Chart trader, show date range. Show scroll bar, all that's the same. Tab name, if, in case you want to change the name. Chart background image, if you wanted to put like a picture or something in the back, this is literally how you could do it. Colors here, I have chart background is lavender. Crosshair labels, slate gray. Inactive price markers, slate gray. Text, I have black. Axis colors. These lines should be the same colors. Always on top, show tabs, apply. So that brightens things up a little bit, so it's not all dark. But now we have all these lines. To get rid of all of these horizontal and vertical lines, what I do, you go right click, properties, and when you scroll down, I kind of brushed over this, but grid line horizontal, you're just gonna go ahead and uncheck visibility. And then vertical, you're gonna open up that drop down, go down to visible, uncheck that, and then apply. And now we got a clean chart. Go ahead and press okay. And that definitely looks more visually appealing. So I'm sorry about that, but we finally managed to get there. So now you'll be able to see what I see when I start trading for the day. You got three exponential moving averages with all price action. And you can go ahead and play around with some things. So if you notice these bars are a little bit stacked on one another, you wanna change those settings. Just double click that price action, change the bar width to maybe three, press okay. And that might separate things a little bit, make it slightly more appealing to the eyes. But yeah, go ahead, change around the settings a bit. Get your chart to be exactly how you like it. And with the settings that you saw in this video, you should be able to have somewhat very similar to what I have. And if you're not looking to pay for indicators, that's completely okay too. You can still change the color of the background here, make it a little bit brighter so it's easier to see. These exponential moving averages as well as MACD are all free indi indicators that come with the platform. So that should really be all you need in order to get a solid foundation. But that's exactly how I set up my chart. I hope that you guys found this video beneficial. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications so you know exactly when I'll post my second video of this series. All right, until next time, thanks for watching.